these are the brand new Cobra LTD X Iron. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. These are my old irons. These are the Cobra Rad Speeds. So old. They're like 11 months old now. <laughs> Absolute and outdated. But I really like these. I like playing with these. Actually, I had the Speed Zones before that. So last summer, I switched over to the Rad Speeds here, and I really liked them. They're very good clubs. I don't know that they were really any better than the Speed Zones. I actually really like the Speed Zones for a number of reasons. But... The Rad Speeds left me wanting in a few different ways, and so I was going to actually replace these, and I was actually going to go backwards and get the Speed Zones again because I really liked those and they were very customizable. But Cobra came out with a new iron, and that is the LTD Longest Total Distance X irons here, and I really was intrigued by them because I thought it would give me all the game improvement features that I really want, as well as some of the features that I really needed to have in the customization process. So first of all, let me give you a little tour of the irons they have this medallion in the back i don't know if this is 3d printed i'm kind of guessing it still is it's very cool looking it's got a couple of fangs on the front kind of looks like an arachnid i don't know that the 3d printing of it is that special it's just there to look good and dampen the sound a little bit but what makes this interesting is that there is a bunch of new technology in here now the one big difference i think here is that on the rad speed everything in here is just solid metal but on the ltd what they actually have is a steel bar right under here it says power core right here so underneath here basically from the toe to the heel here there is an internal steel bar that puts a center of gravity right in the center of the club which is really actually pretty unique for irons and it puts it pretty low but it is suspended in polymer which is exactly the same way that i sleep at night so what that does is it dampens vibration but gives you that momentum through the shot transfers that energy to the ball but doesn't give you a really harsh like forged muscle back iron feel i think that's what it's supposed to do I'm not an engineer, I'm just kind of guessing. But that's kind of an interesting new technology improvement. Now the other thing that I've noticed here is that they do have this toe screw in weight. And I, and I think this is probably pretty similar to the Rad Speeds. That's probably 10 grams, that's what I'm assuming. But what you'll notice here is it's right on the edge and it's actually angled in like this. So it'll put a lot of that weight right here at the toe and it probably goes up through here a little bit. That allows you to customize the toe weighting here if you really need to customize this. Maybe you need it to be a little lighter so you bring that toe around a little quicker. Maybe you need it to be a little heavier. I don't know, whatever you need, but you can adjust this. Now I found that you can take these out. It's actually just a torque spit. Sometimes you do have to heat them up to take them out. I actually took them out on my rad speeds to see what they they were like but what i noticed here is that on the rad speed this screw goes in pretty much horizontally and i think the inclusion of this new steel bar on the ltds makes it so that you have to put the screw in at an angle like this as opposed to straight in like this there just isn't the room on the ltds like there is on this rad speed to put the screw in like that so it looks a little bit different but i think it's basically because the ltds have a lot more weight down low which is important now i am holding both nine irons right here in the Rad Speed and the LTD here. And I want to show you that the top line is the same on both. They don't have the carbon fiber insert. Now, what I want to show you here is on my Rad Speed, if we go into the longer irons, we had this carbon fiber insert on the top, and that was to remove a couple of grams of weight and allow you to put it a little bit lower. But what I want to show you, the long irons on the LTD, we no longer have that. So I'm not sure why they took that out. Maybe it's because they were able to use different materials in different places and get that weight lower. It looks like the head weights are all the same. The lofts are basically the same as my rad speeds so at some point they decided they didn't need that as probably simplifies manufacturing too some people really didn't like it and i know cobra listens to feedback from their customers and that's actually why we got the rad speeds because a lot of people didn't like the looks of the speed zones but to me i don't really care as much about the looks as i do about the functionality so if there's a way to improve the irons for me for the amateur hacker then i will take those over looks any day of the week in fact pxg has some new clubs that are irons that kind of look like hybrids because they are definitely super game improvement irons and if they made those in a single length or dual length set I would totally get them because I'm looking for all the help I can get. Now, that is missing here, but I think maybe it's offset by this power core and that steel bar that's down here. That's my assumption. Now, the other thing that's different here is you can see where they have this milled face and slightly rougher look here. This face cup here extends from the top all the way to the bottom. Now, it doesn't quite go all the way to the top. I think it kind of stops where the groove ends here. And so this is a much thinner material on the face and then on the bottom here and that allows the face to flex and spring more and fire that ball out like a bullet out of the gun guaranteed to give you more distance and so while the head looks like a single piece this piece here this plate that wraps around the bottom is actually a separate piece 
That's actually basically the same technology they used in the rad speed and the speed zone. But I think over the rad speeds, this is 23% larger or more forgiving. So there are more opportunities to get good strikes, even when you are off center. I'm never off center, but for some of us that might not hit quite in the middle here, you should have 23% more forgiveness. It's kind of what I'm understanding at least. All right. Now, after all that, Pete, yeah, some technology changes definitely looks different. It's a nice looking club at least. But why upgrade from the rad speeds to the LTDXs? And is that at all related to the thoughts you had about going from the rad speeds back to the speed zones? Well, the answer is yes. So obviously I was doing a lot of playing, a lot of fitting and tweaking of golf clubs and trying to reinvent my game here. And these rad speeds were great. But what I found is that I wanted to be actually more over the ball, have the ball a little closer to me. And what I wanted to do here was actually move this lie angle up. I actually wanted it more vertical. And so I'm not sure what kind of steel they use on these, but it's not very malleable. It's not very bendable, ductile. And so the Cobra, even in their custom program, would not sell this to me in anything but the standard lie angle. So I actually took it to a golf shop and actually had them bend it more vertical. Now I could only get a couple degrees out of this. And the club guy there said he actually wouldn't go any further than that because he was actually worried about these breaking. And so I think the material here was a switch from what they used on the speed zone because I I know in the speed zone you could order it with a more vertical line angle in fact four degrees upright so i was excited when i saw the ltd x's come out and that they did offer it in their custom program with up to four degrees of bend up or down which is pretty awesome and now my understanding here is that this material is different it's actually a 400 series stainless steel which tends to be more malleable it's actually really good for custom fitters because you can kind of move this up and down you can actually change the lofts too if you really need to so you can bend these in the position you want so that was a big change in fact one of the things i thought about was going from my rad speeds to the forge tech even though the forge tech didn't really have the game improvement features that I really wanted so I was really excited to see that in these clubs and that's why I got them because I was able to get them from the factory bent vertically here now I want to show you if we go down here I have these recoil ESX shafts they're just a different version than the recoil shafts that I used in my rad speeds here but I really really loved them but obviously I was able to order exactly the shafts that I wanted but if we go way down the shaft here what you can see is that we just have a cap on the end we don't have any grips and actually in the custom program you can specify which grips you want based on what inventory they have and then you can actually select how many layers of tape and, and how you want them twisted on or stretched down. You can also order them boxed. Now, I was actually hoping that that meant they would just throw them in the box, and it does. So I ordered with these Lampkin grips because they weren't an upcharge. I think these are the Sonar. Very good tapered grips. I don't use taper. I use straight grips. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So I wanted to put on those straight, no taper grips. And they didn't have any in their inventory, so I thought it would just be easier for them not to install so I don't have to remove them, remove any tape. This will be just like gripping them clean. They actually do put a little rubber cap on the back here so you don't have to worry about the graphite cutting into things. They will absolutely absolutely scratch stuff. I can show you the scratch on my car to prove it. They've also trimmed these clubs. I play my clubs a little bit shorter here, so they've actually pre-trimmed these clubs. So everything about this is ready to go. I just need to grip these and then I can get over to the simulator, start hitting them and see what I think. Two weeks later. All right, so I've been playing around with these LTDX, longest total distance. Now, are they the longest? Well, let me tell you what. I was hitting a bunch of these. I wanted to gap them, especially compared to my rad speeds here. Just kind of see what the differences were. And I would say that I gapped all these clubs and they are basically spot on what my other clubs were. So my seven iron is basically the same as my other seven iron. So does it go any farther? No, I don't think so. I wasn't really expecting that. Basically, big thing for me was the ability to customize these because of the differences in metal here, a little easier to bend. And when I got them and I had requested four degrees more upright, they were all marked for you so i trust that they were more upright when i actually measured them myself they looked spot on and as you'll remember when i took these to my custom golf shop to have them bent upright the guy said he would do the best he could and he got two degrees three degrees on some so i was always left wanting with about one or even two degrees so I really love the fact that I've got these dialed in. The other thing I will say here is I tend to hit these a little left. Now, the toe weighting here, it's slightly different, but I think you can get custom weights in these. Now, you can't just do this on the website. So I did order a custom set of clubs via the Cobra website, but you actually have to go to a fitter and they've got some sort of special off menu new system that they can customize these. And I think you might be able to go up in weight here a little bit. And I actually might go up a gram or two just to straighten it out take off that right to left for me so i don't know that these are draw biased by any means but i wouldn't be surprised if they are maybe just slightly but they also might be just biased to neutral and it's just my tendency to shoot left a little bit 
And do they feel good? Yes, I mean, they feel great. I don't know about suspending that steel and polymer, if that makes it softer or easier on the hands. I would say that if you gave me each of these in a blind test, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but that's how close they are and that's how good the rad speeds were in my opinion. So I really love these. And in fact, one of the things that I kind of noticed here, both of these are seven irons, by the way, that the new club maybe even has a little bit more bounce than the rad speeds. Now, I actually love the bounce on the speed zone irons. I actually really needed that. And so it helps me from digging because I have such a steep angle of attack. So I actually think they might be just slightly more rounded there. If nothing else, I can see that that bottom dips there. So it's just gonna be a helpful club. Without going to those hybrid types of irons, I think this is probably the most forgiving shape that they can make to the sole of these clubs. So, are the LTDXs going in the bag? Yes, of course they are. That's why I got them. Basically, the evolution from speed zone to rad speed definitely gave me confidence that these were going to be the best clubs yet for me. So I'm excited about gaming these these year. Now, one thing I would say here is that the speed zone still appear to be on the Cobra Golf website. However, and for whatever reason, you can't customize them anymore. So maybe they are just getting rid of inventory and they don't want to bend them. But one of the things that I really loved about them is that you could customize them, especially that lie angle, kind of like you could on the LTD. So I think actually the speed zone are a great set of clubs in fact have all the effective technology that these two clubs have at a much lower price point so if you're looking for clubs that perform similar to these look similar i think those speed zone one length irons at 599 dollars a set is a great off the shelf set to get now if you want a little bit more technology you know that tail weight in there that kind of thing and you want to buy these off the shelf i think the rad speeds are great again you can't customize these from cobra but if you don't need that i think these rad speeds can be a great stock set to buy they have served me well even though i have frankenstein them in some ways but if you want the ultimate in customizability and the latest in technology, I think that these Cobra LTD X's are the bomb. They are totally fetch. And I will put a link to these in the description below so that your golf game can improve and you can live a little better. Peter Von Panda, out. We can risk off more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. On Panda, oh, oh, oh. Peter Von Panda. Oh, oh. These are the brand new Cobra LTX. Nope, that's not right. Not LTX. Nope, not at all. Too many letters. I got it wrong. All right, so I have been playing around with these L.